Ever pondered why some lottery winners go bankrupt while some low-wage earners retire as millionaires? Intriguing, isn't it? It's not about how much you earn, but how wisely you spend and invest. Consider the story of Maya, a teacher from a small town in Oklahoma. Despite earning a modest salary, she managed to save enough to put her two children through college, debt-free. Maya's secret was her discipline in budgeting and her knack for spotting a bargain. She also cultivated a habit of investing a small portion of her salary into a diversified portfolio, consistently, over the years. Now let's travel across the globe to Mumbai, India, meet Ravi, an auto rickshaw driver. With his meager earnings, Ravi managed to invest in a small piece of land in his hometown. Over time, the land's value skyrocketed, and Ravi found himself the owner of a valuable asset that now generates a steady income for his family. Head over to the bustling city of London, and you'll meet Oliver, a young programmer. Instead of splurging his substantial salary on luxury items, Oliver chose to live frugally and invest most of his earnings into promising tech startups. Today, Oliver is a self-made millionaire, all thanks to his smart spending habits and calculated risks. The stories of Maya, Ravi, and Oliver underscore a profound truth. It's not your salary that makes you rich, it's your spending habits. Remember these key points. 1. Practice discipline in budgeting. Know where your money goes and cut unnecessary expenses. 2. Cultivate smart spending habits. Bargain hunting is not a sign of poverty, but a sign of wisdom. 3. Don't just save, invest. Putting your money in the right places can make it grow. And lastly, remember that wealth is not about the size of your salary. It's about the size of your financial intelligence and discipline. So, the next time you find yourself contemplating a purchase, remember Maya, Ravi, and Oliver. Remember that financial success is not simply about earning more, but spending wisely and investing smartly. Because at the end of the day, it's not about how much money you make, but how much of it you keep, and how hard it works for you.